up the comic coalition here for another video for you guys today now legend has it or so i've heard there's a book million um not too far away from me it's about an hour or so drive maybe a little bit shorter if i speed but it's a little further out than i usually go hunting but from what i hear it has an amazing NECA section and a pretty impressive pop section as well so i mean you guys know how much I love NECA. You, you guys know I love action figures. You guys know I love toys. And NECA is... I think I could say NECA... Although it's hard for me because, I mean, I love collecting Marvel Legends. I love collecting so many different action figures. I think I could say NECA is maybe my favorite brand. Simply because... I don't miss many NECA releases. When it, especially when it comes to, like, the hard figs. I, I don't really get into the Predator and Aliens. I have no problem with them. They're really awesome. I love Predator growing up. Alien, I liked it, but I, I didn't get into Alien as much as I did Predator. Predator was my jam because Arnold Schwarzenegger was like my favorite movie star growing up. But, um, yeah, they, they just released so many of them that I never got into the line and, and I don't think I could keep up. I have a few Predators, and I think I have one Alien from the NECA, from NECA, but I know there's no way I could keep up with all those drops. But I do keep up with all the horror figs. And, like, there's a new Pinhead out, Candyman, um, Soft Goods, Pennywise, from the 90s Pennywise, um, It movie, or miniseries. Um, also, the dude from The Conjuring Part 2, I think I'm going to pick him up as well. Who knows? I mean, there's a lot of new NECA out that I haven't got my hands on yet, but I think I could say NECA is one, probably my favorite toy brand simply because I don't know. I wouldn't, I would give, I would gladly give up my Marvel Legends habit in exchange for these horror figures from NECA if I had to. If I had to. I don't have to right now. So I continue collecting Marvel Legends, but talking about continuing collecting Marvel Legends, I've seen that. They're jacking up the price of 30 bucks. Now, originally, I just saw they're jacking up the price of 30 bucks at GameStop. Um, I don't buy many of my Marvel Legends at GameStop or Think Geek anymore, simply because the price point and because I know that if I'm patient, I'll be able to find them, you know, at Walmart or, Tar or Target. I used to get really excited, and as soon as they, I saw them pop up at Think Geek or GameStop. I would go buy, you know, three or four figures out of the wave, if not the whole wave, for $24.99 a piece instead of waiting and finding them for 18 bucks at Walmart. But I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that a while back. I haven't grabbed a, a Marvel Legend or a Black Series figure from GameStop or ThinkGeek in, in a while, probably over a year. And if they never show up at Walmart Target, then they just never show up in my collection. I have so much stuff that there's a tons of cool stuff that I miss that I, I tell myself I'm never that's that's one of my most hyped figures of the year. There's no way I'm gonna miss out on that Marvel Legend. Then he shows up at GameStop, I pass him the twenty four ninety nine, never shows up at Walmart Target, and he's just never in my collection and I get over it. But um twenty nine ninety nine. Man. For a store that's hurting right now, I understand they they wanna put price points up on things, but Come on, GameStop. That's one of the only things that I would say y'all had left is the fact that y'all get your Marvel Legends. A lot of times, y'all get them a little bit earlier than you'll see them other places. At least down here where I live. You know? At least down here where I live. Also, they do pre-orders as well. But $29.99, I can't see myself doing that. But I was like, oh, well, it's just happening at GameStop, so it's not a big deal. And then, bam! I'm hearing some rumblings. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but some people said that their targets are starting to are charged $29.99 for a Marvel Legends figure. I love Marvel Legends. I've been collecting I, You could say that I've been collecting Marvel Legends for, like, you know, for most of my life. Thinking back to the toy biz days before I considered myself a toy collector when I was actually just a kid collecting the toys and buying the action figures to play with you know my 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 relationship with Marvel Legends goes back all the way to back then 
so it's crazy when I see a $29.99 price point especially at a place like Target and as much as I love them I, I'm not going to do it guys I hate to tell you but I cannot see myself paying that much for a Marvel Legends figure for $29.99 a Marvel Legends figure man I would rather spend $60 on an SH figure arts Captain America, let's just say Captain America or Iron Man, it don't matter who it is, but just for for example, I'd rather spend sixty dollars on an SH figure arts Spider Man before I spend thirty dollars on a Marvel Legends Spider Man. Simply because of the better face sculpts, the better articulations, the better quality of figure. And once you're getting up to thirty dollars for an action figure, that's getting up there to be a little too high for me. For that quality of action figure. Um, within the last few years, I have dialed back, you know, a lot of my, um, Marvel Legends and Black Series spending, but I have dialed up my SH figure arts and, you know, different figures like that. You know, I've been buying those more so than Marvel Legends. But yeah, $30, like I said, I'll, I'll spend $60 on a, on a Spider-Man SH figure arts any day before I spend $30 on Spider-Man's Marvel Legend. You get more bang for your buck. And for $30, if you're going to spend $30, you might as well spend $60, man. Honestly. Because you get SH Figure Arts. You go ahead and get yourself out of the mentality of, oh, I got to have the whole wave to build this builder figure. So you're not buying seven $30 figures, four of which you don't want because they're characters you've never heard of or care about. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But let me got let me know what y'all think. Are you gonna be buying $30 Marvel Legends? Come on, let's be real. I know a lot of y'all are. And maybe I might break down and have to buy a couple. I might have to buy a couple. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we'll see. But we're gonna go hit up this books a million, hit up a few more places. I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt.
CBD is like really raw nowadays. It's like raw than raw. It's like it's like very uncooked. <laughs> so like I don't know. I haven't watched it in a while, but I did see that Edge came back during the Royal Rumble. Oh really? Yeah, Edge came back. Well, I I, 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 you Edge fans, man. I know Edge is like one of the legends, man. You know what I'm saying? He was really. I, I used to always do like those little wrestling moves, like in my in my backyard with my cousins and stuff. You know, so yeah, it's t times like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to hold on and cherish. So you know, Edge, you know, you made an impact on my childhood, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so you said you watched it on Monday. Yeah. Is there any old wrestlers still wrestling? Like from, cause you know I used to watch wrestling when you watched wrestling in the nineties. You know the Attitude Area, Stone Cold, you know the Rock, yeah. the Giant, Big Show, stuff like that. Big Show still wrestles. I saw Big Show. For real? Yeah, yeah Matt Hardy still wrestles. Matt Hardy, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hardy yeah. Boys is one of my favorite tag teams. Most but definitely. I was a Dudley Boys first. Dudley Boys first. Dudley Boys is awesome. Yeah. Rest in peace to Spike Dudley. Yeah, he died. Yeah, like a long time ago. Like I probably knew that already and forgot. Yeah. yeah. But you said the big show still out there. Who else? Do you see anyone else that you remember? Uh, Rey Mysterio. They pulled off his mask and he beat the dude down backstage. <laughs> Bro, you know Rey Mysterio killed someone with the six one nine in real life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of sad. Um, anyone else? Uh, that's about it from like the old school that you can remember. Yeah. I'm not really feeling the, like the new school wrestlers as much as the old school me, wrestlers. Me neither. It's like, yeah. Nah. But I guess if I grew up with them, like the kids, you know, these days are growing up with them, or if I constantly watch wrestling, then maybe I would have a connection with them. But. And by the way, for the record, I used to. You know what I'm saying? I, I really look up to The Rock as a wrestler, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to let you know, in a one-on-one in -on -one, uh, combat battle, I'll whoop The Rock ass, boy. Yeah. I'll kick The Rock ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying he a good wrestler like on the, in the ring, but you know what I'm saying? He can't fuck with me if we get like in a, a like street fight. Like, if The Rock, if you listen to me, I'll fuck your ass up in a fight, bro. For real, real talk. But you're a good wrestler, though. I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even believe that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> that didn't sound too sure. <laughs> you didn't sound too sure of yourself to say. I'm way better than The Rock in fighting. But he, he, he can fight them dudes that, you know what I'm saying, like, like, um, like them everyday people, you know like you know uh kane and people like that but but he, he don't want it with me yeah. people like kane and they're just champs yeah yeah so, but, so, but he, <laughs> would you say that the rock is the is the biggest wrestler of all time Yes, he's the biggest, but he cannot beat me in a fight. <laughs> he's a great wrestler. That's all I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. But in a fight, he can't beat me. <laughs> okay, so like, I'm saying like, I know some people will make the arguments, maybe Hulk Hogan or, you know, just you could throw plenty of names out there. I'm not saying he's the greatest wrestler of all time, but... You know, Hulk Hogan went on and made some movies. Have you ever seen a Hulk Hogan movie? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, like, I think, what is it? Like, God damn, was it Suburban Commando or something? Maybe that's not Hulk Hogan. It was some movie that he was like, he came in as like a commando and was helping out kids in this neighborhood. Also, he was on like one of the Three Ninjas sequels. Yeah. Um, but The Rock really like, he went from being the biggest wrestler of his time, or one of the biggest wrestlers of his time, to being one of the biggest actors of this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he's one of the biggest movie stars of recent history. Yeah, he was like the biggest wrestler since Andre the Giant <laughs> and Rikishi. RIP Rikishi. I'm 
Rikishi died? Yeah. He did? Yeah, Sarkisi died. God damn! Yeah, all the legends are going, man. I, I didn't know Rikishi died. Damn. Yeah, this video. When did he die? I don't know, man. You just turned into a transformer. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how long ago it was, wherever he did pass away. R.P. Rikishi. Yeah. <laughs> You ever watch Rick and Morty? Yes, yes. I think it's maybe taken by... All right. You know South Park will always be my favorite. Yeah. I like Family Guy. I like other adult shows. You know I love Boss Burgers. But I don't know Rick and Morty is up there. It's like one of my top adult animated shows, bro. Yeah. It's really nice. Especially since I don't remember any episodes with the Rockets. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Rock has not appeared. In a single episode of Rick and Morty. Yeah. And that's good because no one wants to see him in Rick and Morty. That is his good breast in him. Oh, wait, see. there's a lot of albums. <clears throat> Kanye West, late registration. Great album. The Rock doesn't appear on a single second of it. No, none of these tracks features him. Are you serious? How many tracks? <coughs> this looks like. Why do I only see the number five? <laughs> because it's a B side and an A side. Oh, okay. This is how the albums work. Oh, and there's like two records, so. Yeah. 2020. Can't really keep up with those. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't have. You know, the rock on the side. I highly recommend it. Okay, okay, it's good advice. Even though Kamikaze? Well, if you too, I get it. Oh. 13, 13 tracks on there. Why is, why is this one thing hold so many tracks? But this only holds like three tracks for a side. Mm -hmm. Who is it featuring? You can just say not the rock after all these tracks. It, it just it, it just substitutes the same way. The ringer not featuring the rock. The greatest not featuring the rock. The rock. Um, Paul not featuring the rock. You know it's a great album. <laughs> what what makes it a great album? The fact that the rock's not featured on a single track. Right. <laughs> Picture the rock making an album with Eminem in 2020. That was up, right? Yeah, I don't know. The Rock maybe could do an intro for the song. Who knows? I don't know. What would that intro look like? Probably something just like that. Let's see. I haven't seen this vulture in person yet. I don't think. Very nice, very nice. Also, what is that? The new Pixar movie, Onward. It pops her out now. I like the fact that it doesn't look anything like The Rock. <laughs> yeah, none of these pops look like The Rock. Yeah. Except for this one right here. The this Rock. one kind of does. How old are you when you found out The Rock and Dwayne Johnson were two different people? Oh, wow. I was... Today, years old. This is the worst. It's just like the rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like the rock. No, that's well, maybe. Oh, okay. If you tip it that way, <laughs> I can see where you're going for. All right, let's see if I can find a pop that looks like a rock. Look around, see which pop you can find that looks the most like the rock. <laughs> Let's see. All right, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. 
I know it looks obvious to you guys at home because you have the video calls. To me, obvious right here, this is the rock. The closest to the rock you're going to get. You get oh, the yeah. eyebrow. You got to pick one. It can't be the same as mine, man. How do you pick mine? <laughs> that was it? Yeah. All right. So let us know in the comments below which pop looked more like the rock. This one? Wait, this one. That's kind of obvious. Like, is, wouldn't it be the song <laughs> if it's an album? <laughs> the Lion King. Like, I don't know what else to say. Sorry, I thought I had a joke prepared. <laughs> it's already a joke within itself. Just in case you didn't know what the album was, kids. This thing holds music. The circle of life. Would you like to jam all these songs free on YouTube or pay twenty one ninety nine? Wow, twenty one ninety nine. I wouldn't even listen to the for YouTube for free. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, here's the new releases and bestsellers right here. New releases and bestsellers. Oh, yeah. Parasite is really good, y'all. I did watch Parasite. It's awesome. Um, Terminator Dark Fate is not as bad as what people say. It's not great, but... Something tells me the one of these movies really, really suck. One of them oh, suck? Oh, my goodness. It has to be this one. Oh, man. Do you see that? What, The Rock? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I can totally beat this dude in the front. Would you have rather seen Vin Diesel? Anybody think, with The Rock would do. Do you think Vin Diesel um, could beat The Rock in the fight? Chris Rock could beat The Rock in the fight. So Chris Rock is a better rock. Do you think The Rock should change his name? Yes. So Comment below what you think The Rock should change his name to. So Chris Rock is a, The Rock for you, right? Yes, Chris Rock is a way better rock than The Rock. What about Rocky Balboa? Oh, yeah. What about ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky's a better rock to you? No. But uh, Rocky, <laughs> Rakim is. You couldn't go that far? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be reaching too far? <laughs> yeah. <for you. laughs> I'm not that big of a troll. <laughs> I have a moral compass. <laughs> you have a moral compass when it comes to trolling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look where they're hiding all their director pops. Jason Blum, J.J. Abrams, Vince Gilligan. I'm going to have to come back for that Blum. <clears throat> yeah, can I get two Blums, please? Hmm. Oh, what's over there? Dude, they're trying to hide stuff now, Barnes and Nobles. Oh, it's Kiss. And NSYNC and Britney Spears. Wow. And Duran Duran. Hmm. And Def Leppard. And the Police. Who's the best Backstreet Boy, bro? I mean, I mean, who's the best MC man, bro? Uh, you can't go with Justin, bro. It's definitely Joey Fatone. I don't know the rest. <laughs> That's a good answer. Best basketball player. Didn't he want to be an astronaut? But, I think he's the one that wanted to go to space. NSYNC in space? Just imagine that. Hmm. Listening to NSYNC while in zero gravity, you know, that could be monumental. Speaking of my songs written by NSYNC members, <clears throat> you know that song Zoom 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 by uh, in, in Xenon Girl of the 21st Century? Yeah. That had nothing to do with any of the members of NSYNC. That, <laughs> you know what, that is a, a little known fact, bro. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> that is a fact, and it might not be widely known. Maybe it is widely known. Maybe <laughs> just no one cares. But it is a fact. I mean, it's widely known, but it's not widely realized. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's like saying, um, smells like Team Spirit. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Beyonce, you know, wasn't involved in that in that song and the creative process at all. You know, like what? Beyonce had nothing to do with um Nirvana's first album. Period. I know a lot of people might not realize that. Yeah, you know what? Cat Williams 
had nothing to do with the original Titanic movie. True. And this is very shocking to a lot of people. Not to be informed this, but to be told this. <laughs> yes. That's, you know, that's smart. That's smart right there. Here's Jansen on Bob Reboot. Guys, be sure to support Kevin Smith, one of my favorite directors. Definitely one of my favorite Kevin Smith movies as of late. George Carlin. Got a lot of rewatch value in that one. George Carlin, one of my favorite comedians. Very funny. Hilarious. What do you think? Did you say he's funnier than The Rock? Way funnier than The Rock. The Rock is not even funny. But he is a good wrestler. But he's he just can't beat me in a fight. I'll just beat him with bits. I haven't seen these before. I don't know. I don't know. That's what Facebook does. That's what Facebook does to you. Attention seeker. So attention seeker is like almost a sentence for clout chasers. Google Sam. Yeah. Friends and family and God for um, this award. Let's see what else they got over here. They got all the presidents. Bill Nye. Shoes. Yep, Leonardo da Vinci and Vincent Van Gogh. Yo, so I was thinking, right? Who do you think will win in a fight between Macaulay Culkin and The Rock? That's actually a good one. Um, how much prep time does Macaulay Culkin get? And will he be at his own house? Does he have home field advantage? <laughs> Um, because think about it, he's more than just Home Alone Macaulay Culkin, he's also Richie Rich Macaulay Culkin, so he can hire goons if you take both the Home Alone Macaulay Culkin and mix it with the Richie Rich Macaulay Culkin. What about Page Master? Oh, wow! I mean, you don't want to mess with Page Master Macaulay Culkin, you definitely don't. So Hmm. If Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone Macaulay Culkin, and Richie Rich Macaulay Culkin are come together as one, and he has to hire goons to beat The Rock, would he hire Harry and Marv? Would Probably. he? You think so? The Wet Bandits from the Home Alone franchise? Probably. He'll probably find a way to make them work for him. So and... do you think they can beat The Rock? They couldn't even beat Macaulay Culkin at the age of seven. Under Macaulay Culkin's guidance. Oh. They couldn't beat Macaulay Culkin because Macaulay Culkin was God level. So you're saying God level Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> 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 Who do you think could win between Goku and The Rock? I mean, that's easy. That's easy. But I think the Macaulay Culkin and The Rock thing is a good one. Actually, I feel like they should make a Home Alone 3. I know there's already a Home Alone 3, but let's go ahead and wipe that from existence. <laughs> and wipe Home Alone 4 or 5 and whatever other ones. Make a Home Alone 3, star Macaulay Culkin, and The Rock is trying to get into his house. Yeah. That would be awesome. The Rock and maybe Stone Cold could team up and be the new Wet Bandits. That would be epic. The Rock and Stone Cold? Yeah, that would be the new Wet Bandits. That would be epic, bro. That would be epic. Only if they take out The Rock <laughs> and add... I'm sorry to hear that Rikishi just died. Yeah. I, I didn't know that till the other day. Yeah. That's true. Sad moment. That was so sad when I found that out. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, Rikishi. You go back and try to book him like 10 years later? Yeah. Or 30 years later? Crazy. They stacked up on a thing over here. Got Saint Chi, some Game of Spider Man. 
Nothing I need though. Too deep, but I like the concept. Big monster, yeah. people run. Scary. Yeah. Horror. It's horror, right? Yeah, I guess you could say in some ways. I mean, nowadays I don't think you consider it as much as horror as it is sci-fi, but back then I think you would consider it horror in a sense. Yeah. These figures are pretty dope. <laughs> By the way, guys, I know I probably already said it, but I saw the new Terminator, and it's not that bad. It's not as bad as what people say, and this figure looks pretty awesome. Okay, we have a wedge. We have a wedge, folks. Oops. Greatest star fighter of them all. Look at it. I ain't gonna lie, this is dope. I've been thinking about hopping into some wrestling figures. But I don't know. Just don't let us know. Is that a bop it? Yeah. Only 90s babies will remember the true bop it. Yeah, hey, this looks nothing like the old bop it. It doesn't. It didn't dawn on the side. Can anyone tell me the difference between all these lines? Like, what's the difference between this and this? And this? And this? Obviously, this one's more expensive and comes with more stuff, but yeah. All right, now that's going to bring an end to this quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun along the journey. Let me know what you guys picked up this week. What action figures, what pops, what movies, what cool t-shirts, anything. Just let me know all your geeky collectibles that you picked up. Be sure to join my Facebook group. Hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button. Do all that good stuff. And as always, you have a good day, YouTube.